Hi. So today's video is brought to you by my latest MMF bisexual romance, Island Candy Prequel. And I will tell you how you can get that book for free at the end of the video. Until then, you know, last week I mentioned that there were two new bisexual characters on television that week. And it turns out that I was mistaken. Yeah. There were three new bisexual characters revealed last week or that week. And what are those three characters? Well, I mentioned The Good Place, I mentioned Incorporated, but what I failed to mention was the TV show Lucifer on Fox. So what's the premise of the TV show Lucifer? It's about the devil, Lucifer, who was ruling hell for a billion years and then decided, you know what? He's gonna retire. And where did he retire? Well, Los Angeles, of course. And in Los Angeles, he opens up a nightclub. He does, he's living in, uh, you know, just having his life in Los Angeles for a couple of years. And then suddenly there's a murder outside his nightclub, in which case Lucifer ends up meeting the head detective investigating it, whose name is Chloe. And in meeting Chloe, Lucifer discovers that he might not be all bad and there might be a way for him to redeem his soul. So the show is about him working with Chloe to help solve crimes. And it's kind of like, if you know the show Castle on ABC, it like ran for like 10 years. It's like that, they're like cool crimes they investigate. Uh, they're two charismatic lead characters, male and female, there's some sexual tension between the two. And you know what's kind of funny? I recommend it, but how, how do we know that Lucifer is bisexual? Well, in the first episode, there were already hints to it when they showed this. But in season two, episode 11, one of Lucifer's female lovers ends up dying. So they end up investigating who killed the lover and the next body that they found dead was a guy, and then this happened. So, Jana's killer had it in for this poor chap as well, did they? On the upside, looks like you didn't have anything to do with this case after all. <laughs> Pretty sure you didn't sleep with this guy. Ah, uh, actually, you're wrong about that, Detective. <sighs> Raj, so fit. But the show wanted to make sure that everyone understands that he is completely bisexual. They then went and interviewed his past lovers, and then this happened. He even did this thing with a pan flute and a butternut squash. I was improvising. I didn't have any zucchinis. He did this thing with my Tibetan singing pot and artisan honey. It's a game I play called Do I Make You Horny, Honey? With some Vaseline and a car battery. What? Oh, it's a move I call Gentlemen Start Your Engines. It's bloody brilliant. <laughs> so there you have it. A new bisexual character on network television on Lucifer. <laughs> Who's the character? It's Lucifer. That makes 15 lead bisexual characters on American television. 15, and in that list, I'm not even including supporting characters like, um, shows with supporting characters like on My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, or Shadowhunters, or Mozart in the Jungle, or Transparent, or shows that have, that clearly have bisexual characters, but there's no real confirmation, like on Sense8 on Netflix. And it's not even including shows like you know, Game of Thrones, where Khaleesi, the lead character in the book, is bisexual, but on TV show isn't. These are 15 lead characters that are bisexual on, on, net, on television right now. And which shows are those? Well, in network order, it is House of Cards and Orange is the New Black on Netflix. There is the most and greatest bisexual show on television, on stars. Black Sails, which incidentally is starting up this new season tonight, and you can check it out either on Stars or by getting one of the streaming apps on like Amazon or Netflix or something like that. Please check it out. It's a great, great show, last season, but there's Black Sails. And then this past summer, um, the lead character on Orphan Black uh, made clear that the main clone that she plays is also bisexual, so that now we can add Black or uh, Orphan Black on BBC America to our list. Past that, there's Halt and Catch Fire on AMC, there's the Shannara Chronicles on MTV, there's Broad City on Central, uh, Comedy Central. On Sci-Fi, there are two shows. There's The Magicians 
and incorporated on the CW. There's the 100 and Legends of Tomorrow on NBC. It's Shades of Blue and The Good Place on ABC, How to Get Away with, Way, How to Get Away with Murder. And finally, on Fox, we have Lucifer. Fifth. Teen television shows currently on air that have bisexual characters in it. How awesome is that? If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you like, check out my latest MMF Bisexual Romance Island Candy prequel. You can get a free copy of it by following the link in the description below. You can get a free copy on Amazon, on Apple, or on Google. Check it out. Or you can check out my t-shirts on Teespring, the link is below, or like I said, just give a thumbs up. I do many videos on bisexual topic, but I don't do them on a regular basis, but I do do them frequently. So to let you know when a new video comes out, subscribe and click on that little bell next to the subscription button, and then YouTube will tell you when a new video comes out. Till the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. And uh, check out Island Candy Prequel. It's for free. <laughs> Bye.